Metal Gear Solid 3, released in 2004 for the PS2 and to this day hasn't received a PC port. However, there are in fact two ways to play this game on PC right now, and in this video I will show them to you. Let's start with this. This is the PS2 version of MGS3 running on PCSX2. PCSX2 is a PS2 emulator. You can find a link to it in the description. For this video, I'm using PCSX2 version 1.7.0 dev 882. As you can see from the footage, the game runs perfectly and there are no visual glitches. I've only seen a little bit of slowdown for a few seconds on one cutscene, but in general it runs great on my i5-9600K. The only downside to this option is that the PS2 version of MGS3 is limited to 30fps during gameplay and 4x3 aspect ratio. Also, I believe it's possible to get a DualShock 3 controller to work with pressure sensitive buttons, but I couldn't find a way to do it. Anyway, here are my settings screens. I have highlighted some important settings and you can pause the video if you want to copy these. So let's move on to what I think is the best option, which is this. This is the PS3 version of MGS3 from the HD collection running on RPCS3. RPCS3 is a PS3 emulator. You can also find a link to this one in the description. For this video, I'm using RPCS3 version 0.0.14-11579, but make sure to get the most recent build for even better performance, as this emulator gets a lot of daily updates. As you might have already noticed, the best part of this version is that it supports 60fps from beginning to end, and, at least on my PC, it runs perfectly. Not only that, it also supports 16x9 widescreen and the pressure sensitive buttons on the DualShock 3. No need for any drivers too, just plug and play. Now I'm showing some comparisons here between the two versions, but as you can see, there really isn't any graphical differences between them, aside from the aspect ratio. MGS3 doesn't seem to be like MGS2, which had some different effects in some parts. This one seems to render it exactly the same way on PS3 as it did on PS2. Anyway, here are my settings screens. Again, I've highlighted important settings so you can pause to check. So, I believe it's clear now that using RPCS3 to play MGS3 is the best option on PC. If you've never played MGS3 or are looking to play it again on PC, I definitely recommend trying it out. And if for some reason RPCS3 doesn't work for you, PCSX2 is also perfectly fine. So there you go, two ways to play MGS3 on PC right now. Try it out and have some fun. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. He's the Ocelot Commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it.